future, the world has perfected the art of managing resources as populations boom beyond what could previously be imagined. Nothing goes to waste as every single object is recycled. One of the most reused materials is plastic, a synthetic moldable solid first developed in the 19th century. To conserve the precious material, every household has their own portable unit that recycles all their unwanted appliances and gadgets. But back in the 21st century, the world was still grappling with the means of recycling this versatile polymer. Today, the world consumes over 280 million tons of plastic each and every year. And to put that in perspective, on a volume basis, we actually use more plastics each and every year than steel around the world. The difficulty with that is that only about 10% of the plastics we use are reused, whereas with steel, over 90%. The plastics are actually more valuable than steel on a price per weight basis. Guangzhou is China's third largest port for waste plastic imports. But without an efficient way of recycling the material, the city has no way of tapping into this lucrative gold mine, even as demand for plastic soars with Guangzhou's booming industries. The Guangzhou Iron and Steel Enterprises Group and U.S. plastic recycling pioneers MBA Polymers partnered to take up the challenge. They set up a co-venture to provide a sustainable method of recycling waste plastic into supplies for high-tech products. Their project, a recycling plant with the capacity to process over 40,000 tons of scrap plastic in a year. Like many of our customers, most of the electronics manufacturers in the world are located within an hour radius of Guangzhou, China. So we're in the hotbed of electronics manufacturing in the world. Plastic recycling from waste electronics, however, is a complex and energy-consuming process. There are seven different categories of plastics. Like unique individuals, each plastic type has its own character makeup and melts at different temperature points. If the plastics are not sorted correctly, the recycled product is in danger of contamination, making it unusable. The engineers devised a groundbreaking solution. An automated sorting device. Actually,里面的这个他们 after the sorting process, each type of plastic waste is recycled into pellets that will be used as raw products for a variety of materials. But even with an effective means of reclaiming waste plastic, the process still poses a risk for the environment. For the polymer to be recycled, it has to be melted down, resulting in toxic fumes. Waste byproducts from plastic recycling also present a dumping hazard. The problem has become rampant in Guangzhou, where there are an estimated 400,000 recycling companies, many of whom are poorly regulated. If the unorthodox recycling of plastic is left unchecked, Guangzhou runs the risk of turning into a toxic boomtown. To combat the problem, 
engineers at MBA Polymer designed additional features into their recycling plant. Their mission, to ensure that the process is eco-friendly. Within barely three years of operation, the recycling plant is already processing more than 25,000 tons of waste plastic a year. Boasting green and sustainable waste disposal facilities, the plant also ensures that no harm is done to the environment in the process, providing Guangzhou with an extra boost in its mission to achieve sustainable development.